Good evening, people. Watch them at 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. <clears throat> We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. That's the gospel. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not uh, perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. You put your The moment you put your faith and trust in him, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you're justified by the blood of Jesus. Justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will change you. I just got... Well... Some disturbing stuff off of Hal Turner. So, the Sarmat, Russia Sarmat, nuclear missile goes into full production. Now, those of you who don't know what the Sarmat is, Russia Sarmat strategic missile has gone into serial full production. What you need to know about the Sarmat, the Sarmat is a powerful super weapon of the Russian Federation. Now, let's look at the Minuteman, the, U, the one the U.S. has. First, but let's look at this one. This is the most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile in the world, surpassing the American ones in all aspects. 1.5 times the range by tripling the number of warheads, by takeoff weight by 6.5 times, by the total power of core changes by 7 times, by combat load by 9 times. So, second, the Sarmat, number two, the Sarmat has avant-garde hypersonic cap uh, capsules that are totally, listen to this very carefully, immune to all known missile defenses. Which means the U.S. don't stand a chance. All known missile defenses. While the U.S. Minuteman 3 has none. No hypersonic capsules whatsoever. Number three, the Sarmat can also deliver a high-precision non-nuclear strike in which... The kinetic energy creates destruction similar to a nuclear explosion, but without radiation. I'll let that sink in for a second. Number four, the Sarmat will be silo and mobile based while the U.S. Minuteman three is silo based only. This just came out. Fifth, number five, the Sarmat is the latest rocket to enter service in 2022. Listen very carefully to this one. While the U.S. Minuteman III entered service 50 years ago. The Sarmat is one of six new Russian strategic weapons unveiled by Putin on March 1st, I believe, 2018. So the RS-28 Sarmat made its first test flight on April 20th, 2022. And the Russian government expects the missile is entering service this year, soon, now, right now. On August 16, 2022, a state contract was signed for the manufacturer and supply of the Sarmat strategic missile system.
Then I got this. Think off a of Daily Mail. Putin could soon mobilize another 2 million reserves, including 300,000 women, and impose martial law in Moscow. This came out this morning. So speculation is swirling in Russia that Putin will soon demand a massive new mobilization drive in a desperate effort to halt defeats to Ukraine. This comes despite Ukrainian President Zelensky's warning, <clears throat> warning to Moscow that it must withdraw from all occupied territories if there is to be any lasting resolution to the war. It also has been predicted that such a move could be a diversion tactic for Putin to step down and hand over power with the leader reportedly they're saying that he's suffering that he's ill right now Putin they're saying that he's sick so I don't know I'm hearing this I'm seeing this on outlets don't know today Putin's spokesman Dmitry Peskov denied the Kremlin warmonger would make an imminent announcement media information about Putin's address which allegedly will announce the mobilization of the country is not true says Dmitry Peskov see it's hard to, to say who's what's what really it is Yet such denials are only fueling speculation that a move to go beyond the 300,000 plus already conscripted is not far away. This is in part because Putin has failed to sign the necessary degree to end the first wave of mobilization. One version is that he could draft up to 2 million, including 300 million women in an attempt to turn the war into a national crusade. The move is likely to be occupied with martial law in key cities, including Moscow, said Russian sources. Such a scenario might act as political cover enabling him to hand over power in the event of worsening health. Some say observers convinced he is terminally ill. I don't know about that. But this is what I'm here. I've heard this more than one time. Despite regular recent appearances, including foreign travel to uh, Armenia, Rumors suggest that Sergei uh, Karinenko, who is 60, his authoritarian deputy chief of staff and an ex-prime minister could possibly replace Putin. While other focus on Dmitry uh, Petrushov, agriculture minister and son of the president's hardline chief security, um, Nikolay uh, Petrusev, who would be power behind the new ruler. I don't know. Putin considers it sufficient to call up another 2 million people. Now, let me stop there. If that's the case, if he's sick and he's handing down power, I don't know. I, I really, I really don't know here. But he's consider, Putin considers it sufficient to call up another 2 million people, of which about 300,000 are women, alleged General SVR Telegram channel, which expects this to be triggered in the next few weeks or by January. A large number of victims among those mobilized, according to the president, will only rally 
Russian society and strengthen the, cur the current regime. And regardless of whether the result would be victory or defeat. Victory or defeat. It don't matter. If he's... Hmm, I don't know. If he's handing over power, this thing... This thing is about to go to a whole, might go to a whole different level. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to link this in the description box. Um, it's funny that this came out at the same time the Sarmat thing came out. So something's going on here. I'm, something is, something's going on here. So... I will keep track of this, and uh, I'm going to link both of these in the description box, and I will be back tomorrow after Barry. But I will be back tomorrow. Thank you.